What's up everybody, this is Antonio here bringing you a quick tutorial on the Schwab app on how you guys can close a cash secured put or exit buy it back. Uh, so I am going to be doing this on uh, Apple. So I do have uh, two cash secured puts on Apple that will be expiring on the 26th of January 2024. They have a strike price of uh, $192.50. So I'm going to be buying back these. I'm going to be showing you how to exit them completely. So if you click on it, uh, you're going to click trade. And then uh, if we scroll down here, you'll see that the strategy says put there. So that's what we want. It's a one leg since we're just buying back. So you're just going to click uh, buy to close. And you're going to select the number of shares. We're going to do two contracts because that's what we had. Remember, you want to make sure you have the right strike price again. So the 26th of January and then the correct strike price, which is 192.50. This will tell you, uh, make sure it's a put. It'll tell you how much it'll cost you to buy it back. So we're kind of around paying 30 cents or so because remember 30 cents times 100 each contract controls 100 shares so that's 30 dollars uh, so we're just going to do 30 dollars just in our case here i'm going to actually uh, change this to 30 cents looks like it moved up to 31 cents so we're just going to do that so we can get filled but uh, you click review and uh, then we can look this up real quick so you'll see here that it says buy to close to apple January 26, 2024, cash secured puts at strike price of 192 and 50 cents. We're going to be paying about 31 cents, so $31 per contract times also plus the commission, which is going to come out to about $63.32. So you can click place order. We're going to go ahead and look at the order status, see if it got filled. Looks like it got filled, guys. And uh, that's how you exit it. If I show you here real quick, uh, we can kind of see on the positions if we refresh it uh, well it looks like now we have only zero uh, contracts on this if you do look at the gains and losses this will actually show up that now we're not actually uh, on the cash cure puts on Apple we can also look at the history here and you can kind of see that we did purchase back these uh, cash secure puts and we exited it. So now we are not uh, liable to have to get assigned 100 shares. In our case, 200 shares of Apple at 192.50. Uh, so that is the tutorial, guys. Let me know in the comment section any other tutorials you guys want to see. Don't forget to subscribe with the notification as well. Drop a big thumbs up on the video if you found this helpful. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.